All right, so while we're here, I want to tell us a bit about the white throat. So the white throat monitor is from Africa. Um, this one's about three and a half to four feet. Um, they can max out at about five, five and a half feet, but usually they will not get that big. This species of monitor has been known to live up to about 15 years, but um, people say that they can potentially live longer. In nature, they're mainly scavengers, so the biggest portion of the diet is uh, sick and dying animals that they will come across and feast on over a few days. Um, in the mouth, there is a high, high level of bacteria and a small amount of toxins, which are used to um, uh, basically make the uh, make their prey sick, and they will stalk them very similar to the Komodo dragon for a few days, till the point where the body uh, is taken over by the bacteria and will pass away. At that point, the monitor will slowly start to eat the corpse. Um, depending on how big it is, it, uh, some monitors will sit on their uh, on their corpse for up to a week, just eating it slowly mm -hmm. and fending off other predators. So do have to worry about the toxins if I'm keeping one? Uh, you would need to worry about the toxins, but it's really dependent on diet. Uh, a high, high uh, salmonella intake can cause them to be um, a lot more deadly, I guess you can say, to, okay. to their prey. But if you if you give them cooked meats, um, a low bacteria diet, then they, they can be alright. And if they bite you, it'll just be a small infection. Okay. But um, a high bacteria intake, yes, if they bit you, it could lead to potential of blood poisoning, which you would need to seek out a doctor for. Me personally, I was bit by um, a wild caught savanna and went into anaphylactic shock, swelled up. So that was a pretty, hmm. pretty uh, interesting day for me. I experienced hallucinations. I now own two EpiPens because it's a savanna monitor. So, oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, just like the Komodo dragon, they're all the same family. They're just. Um, they are related, but they, they can hold uh, quite quite heavy uh, toxins in them. This is definitely not like an entry level pet, right? It is not. It would be considered inter intermediate to advanced, depending on uh, what a monitor you'd be looking at. The white throat is considered an intermediate, where the Nile monitors or even modern monitors, which would get nine feet with a really bad temperament, would be considered advanced. Okay. All monitors will require a very large enclosure for a white throat. You'd be looking at even a six foot by six foot enclosure. Like this one here? This is about six by six. Yep. They require um, a basking spot at about 100 degrees, a cold spot at about 80. Nighttime okay. they could drop in the high 60s. Hmm. Um, at this size, he does not need to eat every day. If he has, um, for example, maybe two medium rats, he would be good to go for almost a week. Oh, um, they need very minimal water intake because of the part of the world they come from. This guy will only be seen drinking about once a week at most. Oh wow. Um, it's very common for them to eat uh, eggs in captivity. A lot of people like to feed them raw chicken eggs or hard boiled chicken eggs. Um, chicken liver, uh, cow liver is very, very uh, common. Okay. in captivity. Did you, just, did you guys just uh, feed him today? We did feed him, so sadly I can't feed him again, but today he ate two small rats, so okay. he'll be good to go till about Monday or Tuesday. So there's blood on his face. Yeah, so there's a bit of blood on this side. It appears that the rat maybe has a uh, bit back a bit on him. So. Oh yeah, is that? All right, that is his blood, right? Yeah. That's one of the dangers of feeding alive, I guess. Yes, uh, this sometimes a rat could attack back. But yeah. in my personal opinion, you know, they, they evolved to hunt, um, to, to not teach them how to hunt at a young age when when you rescue them in an older age and you do live feeding them, potentially injuries can occur. So I always recommend feeding them live at a young age. So by the time they're this size, they know how to handle their food, basically. So, okay. um, as you can see, he has a forked tongue like a snake, which is used just like a snake to taste the air. And that's how he can uh, find food. Looks so chill. He's a very, very chill lizard. And that is a white film monitor. This guy here had a small break in his back leg when he was younger, which was never set properly. So if you see, it just seems a bit... Oh, you trying to hide it now. It's, um, when he walks, he kind of walks okay. club like so... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, it's got, like... Yeah, but he can still hunt, he can still run, it's just it's a bit deformed because of the break at a young age. But normally, it shouldn't look like that, so... Okay. And then...